what we are doing in this project is developing a um, 6000 hectares of mangrove uh, some as a bio shield and some for the wetland restoration part and now the community part is a very important thing because this ownership is the key factor for the sustenance of the mangrove plantation in the sundarbans the sundarbans forest is the largest block of tidal mangrove in the world it stretches across the border of India and Bangladesh in the Ganges Delta. Nearly five million persons live close to this wildlife sanctuary that is the Sundarbans, only a hundred kilometers away from Calcutta. In the Sundarbans, men have gradually cleared the mangrove and colonized these islands situated below sea level. Living here is a constant struggle against the elements. In order to prevent salt water from flooding the cultures, as well as to protect their home, the villagers have no other choice but to build embankments that constitute the lifelines of the Sundarbans. May 2009, the Sundarbans were in the path of the storm Ayla. Everything was destroyed. In the aftermath, local people noticed that the sea walls protected by residual mangroves had better resisted the storm. The Indian NGO News and the Livelihoods Fund therefore initiated a vast afforestation program. Their objective is to plant 60 million mangrove trees, over 6,000 hectares, a considerable job requiring tremendous enthusiastic impetus. At the end of the project, these young mangroves will protect the villages. Thanks to their biomass productivity, they will also store 700,000 tons of carbon dioxide, whilst promoting biodiversity, and so the renewal of natural resources for the population. We are all doing this to save the Sundarbans. We do participate because without forest, we cannot survive. And we are poor people, you know. This project is also important as we get some jobs and new incomes. Local communities are at the heart of the system. Their involvement is the main guarantee of the project's durability. Most of the financing is then distributed to the villagers' groups as payment for their work. The other part of the investment finances the technical survey and scientific monitoring required for carbon offset certificates. Beyond the villagers' safety and the local development, these initiatives, in an area very much exposed to the rise of sea level, are also about acting against climate change. The three important features are this uh, ecological wetland restoration, the community uh, orientation of the project so that they get the socio-economic benefit out of it, and the most important is the carbon sequestration. It's uh, really uh, something that can be worked as a model with working with the multinational company, with the government officials and the community and the NGOs and the scientist groups that are working with us. I think it's a wonderful synergy. Actually, it speaks that, you know, in this world, Wherever we work, at whatever place, it's nature that we have to look after.